We're going to go to Waterside Crossing today. Uh, now you're talking about a very, very nice Crescent community. Waterside Crossing is, is right up there at the top as far as the Crescent communities go. Definitely, you know, a top one, two, three Crescent community on the lake. Nice entryway, uh, only located about eight, nine miles outside of town. So you can be back in Seneca, you know, 10, 11 minutes. Got a nice little clubhouse there on your right that you can see. Uh, also has a tennis court and a swimming pool. Now, keep in mind, different phases of Waterside Crossing has, has opened at different times. There's seven total phases in Waterside Crossing, okay? So there's 285 total home sites in the neighborhood. So due to the vast size and complexity of, you know, the home sites in the neighborhood, I'm going to just give you some general uh, video to let you really get a good sense of the neighborhood. But, you know, as mentioned, top one, two, three Crescent community communities on the lake right here in Waterside Crossing. And we came in the main entryway, you know, where the clubhouse, where you saw that in the video. We're going to just kind of go down to the end of uh, one of the first streets in the neighborhood. And we're going to wind up on about lot number 18, I believe it is, at the end of the street. Nice, you know, nice entryways. All the uh, shoulders are always cut. The grass is always cut. Just some wonderful homes in the neighborhood. Has a very good HOA, has an HOA committee here, uh, much like many of the Crescent communities do have. Lot number 18 here is just on your left. So we're going to end um, this first cul-de-sac right around lot number 16, 17. But uh, you know, here's an example of a, a very nice home in Waterside Crossing. You know, stacked stone, uh, the rough seat, the rough uh, cut siding on the home, uh, nice little gables, shed dormers. Nice entryway, uh, and this this home here sold for 1.8 million dollars, and uh, that was after after the slowdown of the market. Okay, let's go back out. We're going to go down uh, another one of our side streets. You know, Waterside, you'll notice a lot of just natural standing timber that's been here a long time. So it gives a good feel for the neighborhood, a lot of, lot of trees. So when we came in the main entryway, we turned right. So if we hadn't turned right, we'd, we would have went straight here. Some, some of these lots here to our left and right are interior lots, and it starts back on the water. Waterfront home there, uh, dead ahead. So we're about lot number 37 right now, 38, if you're looking, if you follow in the community survey. Wonderful home there on the right. But this will this will dead end right about lot number 5152. 
And what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to, we'll stop right here. Like I said, you know, we have seven phases uh, in the neighborhood. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to stop the video here. We're going to go over to the second phase, which is uh, uh, North Shores Drive and follow it all the way down and let you see some of the amenities, you know, the boat slips over on that side over there. So uh, that's just down the street and we'll head over there. All right, we're going to turn in uh, Waterside. Uh, this is uh, basically phase two, phase three, but none of, another one of the main entryways off of Highway 183. So as mentioned in the first video, with seven different phases, we have multiple, multiple uh, ways of going in and out of the neighborhood on both uh, sides of Highway 183. So in that first phase there, there's a pool and clubhouse, and, and everyone has the ability, obviously, whether you're on highway, the uh, uh, opposite side of the pool clubhouse, you can just walk over, ride your golf cart. But if you're in the, uh, basically the northern uh, side of Waterside Crossing, you could actually, they have a little cart path that you could walk or ride your bicycle or take a, a golf cart over to the pool and clubhouse. Now once we come over the top of the hill here, we're going to have some nice mountain views. A lot of greenery here, you know, replanted pine trees from, from several years ago. Uh, so uh, pretty good bit of, of a year-round uh, greenery in the neighborhood. As we crest the hill here, you get, it's kind of hazy today, it's hard to see, but big mountain views looking back uh, towards the northeast. And we're going to follow this road here in just a moment, but let, let's go ahead and turn right here on Lake Breeze. And just let me show you the boat slips. Uh, this is just uh, one one section of the boat slips. There's, a, there's a, uh, another section for property owners in the neighborhood, but on this side here, some boat slips and a little common area. Uh, so let me just drive you right down here. Some of these home sites here are on the water. So you're coming right up on the boat slips and this little Nice little park setting. Kind of let's see if you get a better, better feel for those boat slips. Can't see the ones back over to the right, but uh, we've got several. Not sure how many we have total. Probably 60, 70 boat slips or more here. Well, maybe close to 100 altogether. Never actually sat down and counted them, but we're probably somewhere in that number. And nice little, so you know, private area, private, uh, uh, nice place to come if you want to have a birthday party or get together with a family. Uh, so uh, just a good little spot here. Let's go back out to the main road and, and we'll uh, kind of dead end at the end of North North Shores, which is just about another mile. So let's go ahead and do that. And this will give you a real good overview of Waterside Crossing. Okay, we're going to turn back on the main road, North Shores, that we came in on just a moment ago before we turned off. And we're going to go about a mile down here and it'll dead end right at the water. Interior home sites here to the left and the right. Uh, obviously the ones to the right looking back towards the north and have those uh, mountain views.
And this is just a, you know, how this dead ends is just a nice peninsula. It's a long peninsula, home sites on both uh, sides of this peninsula here. Kiwi's so neat how they designed it because they designed it with a lot of little yeah, peninsulas, finger peninsulas I call them. Uh, just, just did real well on the design of the land, of the lake. Nice home there on the right. And we'll be able to obviously get some better shots by water we come back in the boat. And we're going to kind of dead end uh, here at the end of North Shores. And we're right around lot number around lot number 168, okay? To kind of get a feel for the homes here. All right, hope you enjoyed the tour of uh, Waterside Crossing. We'll be back later by boat to show you some more properties.